What's up, fam? Welcome back to Tommy Bites TV. Thank you for being here. So today we are making some yummy cinnamon rolls. You guys, you will love this recipe. And if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. already have a half cup in that white bowl now I'm about to add two teaspoons of yeast and one teaspoon of sugar and let it sit for 15 minutes till it blooms now I'm adding one fourth teaspoon of salt into my bowl of flour you will need three cups of all-purpose flour or you can use cake flour now I'm taking the bowl with the half cup of milk and yeast and pouring it into my mixing bowl. Just want to get the extra yeast into the bowl. And now take the other half cup of milk and pour it into the mixing bowl as well. You will also need 30 ounces of unsalted melted butter. Add that to your mixing bowl. Also add one third cup sugar to your mixing bowl. Of course, no ingredient left behind, tap, tap, tap. Add one tablespoon of vanilla to your bowl. four of my farm fresh eggs whatever eggs you have you want to add the yolks only to the bowl and of course I don't like leaving any ingredient behind so I will scrape this bowl till I get all of that egg out now it's time to add our three cups of flour remember I already added my one fourth salt to my bowl you don't have to add it to your bowl i just like to mix it in there so i don't forget i always start my mixer on low speed and then i speed it up as i go Make sure all of your ingredients are mixing well. You may need to scrape down the bowl, bowl size if you don't have that scraper built into your mixer, which I don't. And so your dough is gonna start turning into a shaggy consistency. If you feel like it's still too wet, you can still add more flour to your bowl. I have added up to one fourth cup of extra flour to it at times when I've done this. I've only made this one other time and y'all it was so good so right now i'm adding a fourth cup of flour just to um lessen the wetness of that dough and i even had to put a little extra of flour in there and it did not harm this uh, recipe at all The dough is almost at the consistency I need it to be, so I have a bowl next to me that I have greased down with olive oil. Mm -hmm. 
this dough is a soft yet sticky dough so it may take you a second to get it out of the bowl this dough was stickier than i remember from the last time i did it so once i get the dough into the bowl i flip the dough around into the oil because remember the bowl is oil then i take my towel and i cover it up let it sit in a warm oven or microwave for an hour and a half and then you're ready to start kneading your dough so it's been an hour and a half i'm just going to punch down in it and release some of that air and i already have my countertop with flour on it and i'm just gonna lightly knead it for a little while you don't want to overwork your dough at all Make sure you wash your hands before you start kneading and working in the kitchen period. I wash my hands so many times in here, it's ridiculous. So you see I've added flour to the countertop, but you also want to add a little bit to your dough so it's not sticking to your hand. And if you need to add a little bit as you go, go ahead and do that. I also put flour on my roller once I started with the rolling process. So with the kneading, you're just going to lightly use the palm of your hand to knead this dough. I absolutely love playing in dough. It is a stress reliever. I used to own a daycare, so doing this with the kids was fun. And again, if your dough is sticky still, just move it around in the flour you already have on the countertop. So rolling dough out can be a little difficult. Make sure you put your flour on your rolling pin and then apply a gentle pressure to that dough. Don't beat the dough up at all when you're rolling it out. Just take your time. I think anytime you're feeling stressed, especially with the world we're living in right now, doing this is therapeutic, honestly. The sweet dough that we made to make these cinnamon rolls, you can use those to make rolls, bread, whatever, and I intend to do that. You don't have to roll your dough out as thin as I'm rolling mine. I just don't like thick dough when I'm eating a cinnamon roll, even though I won't be eating these, my kids will be. Um, it's just out of preference, whether you like it thick or thin. Now you wanna take a stick of melted butter and just kinda of get that all over the dough. Even at the edges, you'll see me putting this butter. Just cover the dough completely with this melted butter. So in a separate bowl, I have two cups of brown sugar. You don't have to add butter to the sugar. You can just sprinkle the sugar over that dough that you just put the butter on. But I did add a little bit of the butter to my sugar, mixed it up, and then I proceed to sprinkle that all over 
the dough and spread it with the spoon. Now you don't have to put a glove on, but I decided to put a glove on because I knew that I was gonna use my hand to smear the brown sugar all over this dough. I'm not quite sure of the dimensions of the dough that I rolled out, but I believe she said it was 12 to 14 inches wide and 19 to 20 inches long. So I wanted to give you guys a close up of what this looks like. Don't forget to get the edges of your dough. Make sure everything is covered with the brown sugar. Now you wanna take your cinnamon and sprinkle that all over the work area as much as you want. There's no you know, measurement on it, just to your liking and how you want it. I covered mine completely. Now it's time to roll our dough. I'm starting from the top. You can start from the bottom however you choose and just roll it into a log. Look at how pretty that is. So this part you don't have to do, but I like to do. I am pinching my ends together with the rest of the dough so it doesn't come apart. And now I will take yeah, look at that, so pretty. Now I'm gonna take my cutter and I'm gonna cut it. Now this is up to you optional, how big or small you want your pieces of cinnamon roll to be. I don't like my, my cinnamon rolls to be really thick, so I didn't cut them really wide. Now I'm spraying my pan with just some any kind of oil because I'm gonna put my parchment paper down, then put my cinnamon rolls on top of that. So right here, I'm just cutting off the ends of the parchment paper um, because I don't wanna start a fire in my oven, but you can just fold it into and then put your cinnamon rolls down. Do not spray your parchment paper, just spray your pan put the parchment paper down, and then add your cinnamon rolls to it. You'll see as I place them on the pan, I give them a little squeeze with my two fingers. That way I can spread them out. Give them enough space to let them proof up because what you're gonna do after you put your cinnamon rolls on the pan, you're gonna place them uh, in the warm oven, not a turn on oven, Make sure your oven is warmed up, then turn it off, and then put your cinnamon rolls in there and let them proof up. And you wanna make sure you let them proof for at least 45 minutes. And by proofing, I mean you just want them to rise before you start baking them. So this is what it looks like going into the oven for 45 minutes. The oven is not on, but the oven is warm. Cover them up with that same cloth you used when you did the dough process. So they have proof for 45 minutes and I just wanna show you what they look like. And I also turn my oven on 350 degrees so that it can come up to temperature. Oh my goodness, these have proofed just fine. They have puffed up, they are so pretty, you guys. Oh, I just wanna bite into it, but it's not cooked yet. We haven't baked it yet. So now we're about to put them into a 350 degree oven. So I almost forgot, I am adding the other cup of brown sugar to these cinnamon rolls. If you don't wanna do that, then you can just go ahead and put them after they proof 
you could just turn the oven on to 350 and then put them in once it preheats and gets to temp. Right now, I'm just sprinkling some extra brown sugar on there because I like for them to be nice and sweet. And guys, when I tell you, amazing. So I told you that the brown sugar is optional if you're adding extra brown sugar to the top. Also, the cinnamon is optional as well. But I feel like why not add extra cinnamon on it? Because so you want every bite, you want to be able to taste that, that brown sugar and that cinnamon. So my oven has done preheating it is 350 degrees we are going to add our beautiful beautiful cinnamon rolls to the oven and set our timer for 15 minutes now if you want to check it before the 15 minutes feel free to do so because you don't want your dough to get hard or anything but that's it just 15 minutes in the oven and lord look at them they're gonna come out so pretty now I was nervous about cooking them, baking them in here because I do need a new oven, but y'all, they came out just fine. So the oven is set, it's 15 minutes. Excuse my remodeling, one cabinet gray, one cabinet brown, y'all. I'm just doing a lot. <laughs> Y'all, that Chris Rock special came in handy. He was saying thank you and congratulating me on these cinnamon rolls, y'all. They came out so, so pretty. I Let me tell you, now we are going to, we're not done with them. We want to make our icing. So we're making a cream cheese icing. We're going to use about a quarter of that cream cheese. And we're also going to use as much confection sugar as you want. I didn't measure it out, so I really can't tell you how much I used of it. You're going to um, also add a little bit of milk to that. And you're going to just whisk, 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 whisk away, either with your hand or a blender. Next, I'm going to use my, my hand mixer because using the regular whisk my wrists are not strong enough for that but in the end it came out just fine and for those of you who don't know i am on a carnivore diet i cannot have any of this why i decided to make this i guess for my kids because my son had come in town you know he he's about five hours away from me so he came in town for the weekend him and his girlfriend and i said well let me just make a pan of this for them to have for breakfast in the morning and take back with them on the road and some for his roommate um, that he also went to high school with as well. And my youngest child who lives with me also would have something that I don't have to keep making a breakfast for. So I didn't get to try it, but he did try it for me in the end. So stay tuned for that taste test. I intentionally did not put a lot of icing on here because my kids don't like a lot of icing. I honestly thought that I would break and just eat one, but I did not. And they look so golden brown and beautiful. I mean, just gorgeous. I hope you guys try this recipe. I actually got it from uh, a different channel. I will leave them linked in the description box though. Let me tell you, this is delicious at least what my son said it was delicious 
Oh, I wasn't recording. Sorry. Gotcha. How is it? So thank you guys for joining me. And like he said, it is good. I hope you try this for your family. They will definitely enjoy it. This will be a great Sunday breakfast along with some other things. But you guys take care. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I almost forgot to say you can add nuts to this like pecans or whatever. But I have a child in my house who is allergic to those things. So I don't do that when I'm baking.